Now, I have to admit, I'm not somebody who does a lot of stuff on the phones. But anyway, um, it says uh, integrated rubber pads help absorb shocks and prevent your phone from scratching. It supports horizontal and vertical shooting. Two cold shoe mounts for attaching LED lights and a microphone. Multiple quarter 20s that can be used to attach a tripod and top handle. I'll say a lot of things, especially like charging pads. I can't use them because my phone's too big. It's so irritating. So just picked up a 2022 Tahoe, and I realized that the charging pad that's in the console area, it actually fits the phone. I do have to maneuver it a little bit because it's kind of weird. This phone actually has, it bu it bumps up. At least, uh, it might be because I have a protection piece on top, but it's like a, these are huge cameras. It's not flush with the phone, um, at least the way I have it set up. And because of that, it makes it a little bit difficult um, to do what I'm trying to do as far as charging is concerned. All right, so, oh, my camera battery died up top, but I will show you from this view. Let me get my face up in here. Boom, I'm at the bottom. Here you go. So, like I was saying, is sometimes, oh, this is dope. It came with a little remote, a little shutter release type of thing. The capture video, that's handy. So with me, lately, I've been using my phone a lot. Like I said, it's not necessarily about how good the quality looks all the time. And I, audio to me is very important, but I've been slacking on that too when I've been mobile. I haven't been taking the time to use something decent. This seems, let's check this out. Let me throw this to the side. Hmm, look at this. I know I have it backwards. I'm just showing you. This feels pretty robust. Now, me personally, I don't think I'll go filming or walking around like this, but this is pretty dope. What I do like, it has quarter 20, so you could actually mount this on a tripod or something like that also. And I believe you can even take this handles off. But here's the cold shoe mount, so like, a, you know, you could put a light or something else on there. That's pretty dope. And it feels pretty strong and is lightweight. And a whole bunch of quarter 20s on the bottom. I like it. So let's see how this fits the phones. Okay, I'm trying to understand this without looking at instructions. It has a screw knob. So I guess this is what... So it's not a quick option but i will tell you it holds phones that are pretty large so let me turn this around like this you just slowly screw it in it's a good thumbnail hold up oops there you go oops no it's gonna be a thumbnail all right let's keep it moving hmm so there it is Hmm. Actually, I I could do kind of like this. I think what I need, and you know what? They sent this to me in the other box. It's going to go good. Hold on. I know you'll think I'm tripping. Yeah, I like this. Hmm. To be honest with you, even if you flip the phone around, you could hold this like a vlogging setup like this. You know what I'm saying? You could hold it out like and film yourself. You know what I'm saying? You could do that. Just flip the camera around. Or flip the camera view around at least. Let me show you this last package real quick um, before I get back to this. Boom. So I'm walking around doing my thing. Boom, boom, boom. Filming something real quick. And then I need to put it down real quick. There it is. And now that I have the, the, the mini ball head here, if I need to film myself, I can go ahead and angle it the way I need to. So it's facing me or facing, to say, this light right here. Because it's so lightweight, this doesn't have to be a heavy-duty ball head. It works out. I actually kind of like this. It works pretty good. Um, again, the only thing I would change if I could put input would be some kind of quick release system. Not like an arc or switch or something. Just something like a little lever you just pull and you can remove it, put it back in, tighten the lever kind of thing. Something really quick and simple because it's made for a phone. It's not meant to be super crazy heavy-duty. So, yeah, I like it. And, again, you can add this to it. You can add this on top for me I, i'm i'm not gonna use this in this way i can always find uses for lights and stuff like that but i'm not gonna use it for that particular situation the reason why i don't like building up too much so this is the other one you can add on here you put the mic on is because it starts getting to the point where it's like you have a compact item like a phone right you have a compact item and next thing you know it turns into a big item because you're adding all these attachments to it so if i have a compact item the whole point is for me to keep it compact so for me personally i wouldn't put all these different things on here i probably would keep a lav of some kind that way i can go ahead and have it on the phone in all one place but you see how this add extra height and more different more a lot of things at least for me personally i like to keep it subtle that's me personally though and um 
I'm still interested in these things, but just for a different purpose. If you're somebody starting out and you need something on the go, whether it be for your phone, whether it be for like, a, you know, a small camera or setup or something like that, it's pretty dope because it comes with a lot of different things, like a one-stop shop uh, for like vlogging and stuff like that and content creations like on YouTube. So